Governor Romney has been pitching this plan for almost a year now. He stood up on the stage in one of his primary debates, proudly promised that his new tax cuts, on top of the Bush tax cuts, would include the top 1%. Now, you wouldn't know this from listening to the new, latest version of Mitt Romney. He, he, he's, he's, he's trying to go through an extreme makeover. <laughs> After running for more than a year, in which he called himself severely conservative, Mitt Romney is trying to convince you that he was severely kidding. What he was selling was not working because people understood his ideas wouldn't help the middle class. So these days, Mitt Romney's for whatever you're for. <laughs> Suddenly, he loves the middle class, can't stop talking enough about them. He loves Medicare, loves teachers. He even loves the most important parts of Obamacare. What happened? <laughs> now, what does he have to say, this new version of Mitt Romney, about all the things he's actually promised to do as president? Tax breaks for outsourcers? Never heard such a thing. Saying we should cut back on teachers? Doesn't ring a bell. Don't boo. No. Kicking 200,000 young Floridians off their parents' insurance plans? Who, me? <laughs> and when he's asked about the cost of his tax plan, he just pretends it doesn't exist. What $5 trillion tax cut? I don't know anything about a $5 trillion tax cut. Don't pay no attention to the $5 trillion tax cut on my website. Look. Governor, Governor Romney thinks we have not been paying attention for the last ha year and a half. He is going to say whatever it takes to try to close the deal, and he's counting on the fact that you don't remember that what he's selling is exactly what got us into this mess in the first place. And so, Florida, you gotta, you got to let him know we remember. We know full well that if he gets a chance, Governor Romney will rubber stamp the top-down agenda of this Republican Congress the second he takes office, and we cannot afford that future. His plan will not create jobs. It will not help the middle class. It will not speed the recovery. It will slow down the recovery. It will not reduce the deficit. It will not expand opportunity. We can't afford it. We're not going back. We are moving forward, and that's why I'm running for a second term as President of the United States.